Oh, uh, there you go. Hey, how's it going, everyone? How you doing, buddy? What's up? There we go. Sorry, guys. Not much, man. What you been up to this week? Working. I mean, I still got my work shirt on. Nice. Yeah, same here. You got to go to work tomorrow. Not me. I'm off. Today was Friday, so. Woohoo. Yeah, nice. But now I get to do my projects here, which I got some projects, which I'll cool. show a bit later and talk more about it later in the stream. Awesome. Hey, DMC. Hi, Joey. Hey, Kirk. Hi, Bob. What's up, 23? Hey, Dave. <laughs> Hi, AP. What's up, Miles? Hey, Cody's son. Hey, George. Hi, Sandy. What's up? What's up? Ah, what well, happened? Jumped. Oh, I got some fish to let go. I got new fish. More guppies. Woo! Yeah. What's new? I got more guppies. So you see what Priscilla wrote? No, where? On screen. I got to look now. I got to pull up the stream on my phone so I can see what's going on in the past. Because so, I noticed if I touch stuff. Oh, you uh, can't see it on screen when I click like that? I see it now. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. They are late, what, by like three whole minutes? <sighs> That's the usual, though. That's the hey, usual. Hey, Dan, how's it going? We got to leave you guys uh, sitting on uh, the edge of your seats, man. Yep. Hey, Scott. Hi, Sharon. I hey, Miles. Look. I'm showing, I'm showing, I'm, I'm doing some advertisement. You see that? Nice. Since we are the um, the California, we are the California stream, right? Correct, Andrew? We are. Yeah. So here, I should I should hit this, hit everyone with everybody that's in Cal. You see that that little logo, but let's do this one. <laughs> the phone number is like highlighted too. It is. For the California people. Getting ready to do some eBay. Um, we're, we're, we're actually going to be doing an eBay online store here uh, in the next few months. It's going to be a branch off, dude. Where My store is actually growing very large, very quick right now. Nice. Hey, Soggy Pits. What's up, Soggy Pits? How's that beautiful pond doing? Yeah, that's like the biggest that's like the biggest logo ever, isn't it? So did they charge extra to make your shirt? It, it, the shirt alone, yes. The stickers, no, they my boss already had those. Uh cool. But he did have the like did the the ones he had, he was like, I finally got to use the large ones they sent me. <laughs> they actually sent them that large. Yeah, like I get, you know, you got them in all sizes. I guess I don't know. Oh, funny. Hey, Derek. But, yeah, the shirt alone cost him more because, of course, you know, it's a four X tall. Four X tall, dang. Yeah. I need a sticker. I actually have these stickers, stickers like this, but it says. It looks exactly like that. Bam. Yeah. That's my work. These are my, uh, yeah, I haven't, as you can see, I came home and I've been chilling. I haven't really uh, done much. I even still look, what, I, hold on. So 
Those are nice. So are those cobras? There is a cobra in here, and then there's like this really cool cobra galaxy look. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's really cool, and I like. I can't wait to see what it looks like because they just came in, so they're going in a quarantine tank. But I got a couple males and a couple females, so we'll see. Yep, guppies. What's new? You're like Anthony. Yes, there you get some snake skins. I got the one of them is a snake skin, yes, and then another one is like a snake skin. I don't know, but his colors are really, really. I, I don't know. It's hard to see because you get a glare. Let's see if he pops up. Thanks, Recon. I appreciate it. It's one of those, but yeah, there's some cool little guppies there. Yeah. I got to put them in the tank. Nice. So you can go ahead and, and, and start talking. I could hear you. Sure. Um, so guys, uh, I didn't have a chance to watch a whole lot of videos this week, but I thought I'd continue even though I didn't stream last week, um, with sharing a video that I watched that I liked a lot. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure at least 99.9% .9 of you have seen it already. And if you've seen it and haven't posted a comment, make sure you go post a comment but it is bob's day four tub video so if one of my mods would post that for me i would appreciate that kaylor's aquatics day four tub video it looks pretty darn sweet i'm liking the way it's coming out he added a ton of uh, water sprite i believe to it and the plants are really filling out i'm digging it and I think it was even a, uh, I think you added a white cloud in there, right, Bob? Was it a white cloud, I think? But, yeah, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. And I could have sworn I had more mods here than Bob, do I not? Oh, yeah, I got Cody Sun here, cool. So, Cody Sun, if you would post that up, I would appreciate it. Oh, brilliant Raspora. So, there it was. Thank you, Cody. I appreciate it. Day four update. Yes. I like I like how Bob's little tub's coming, right, coming along. That little tub's nice. Let me see if I can do this. Oh, what? How's... Sorry, guys. Making a couple more mods real quick here. Cool. And um, I don't have a lot, whole lot more news other than one other thing, guys. Um, hey, what's up, 44 Mega? Long ago, I decided not to drink when I'm depressed and uh, guys I'm pretty dang bummed about Nathan still and then I got some other stuff going on in my life uh, bumming me out uh, so I'm gonna discontinue the drinking game for now uh, I'm pretty sure I will start it back up I'm I just want to take a couple weeks at least um, so yeah my bad I had to talk to my son for a second so did you have a chance to think about anything you wanted to discuss about our topic yeah about saving money right yeah yeah i save a lot of money by running my whole fish room on air that's how i that's the majority of how i save my money and then doing summer tubs 
<laughs> nice. Um, I didn't even think of summer oh, tubs as saving money. I don't know how well you guys can see this here. I'm going to do this and put it down. Can you see? Yeah, you can see those, right? The tanks on the floor? The empty tanks right here? Yep. Yeah, that's another way to save money is getting freebies. There's three tanks there. Well, two of them. And it, and it was kind of a, you know, kind of, I guess it's a plus working at a fish store because two of them are off the shelves from my work because they were tanks that were leaking. And the boss man just said, you know, he said, take them down. And his exact words was literally throw them away or take them home. So I took them home. And then today at work, we had a guy call and ask if he could donate his fish because he was, he, he, he was, it was just too much for him to take care of the fish. And then he got there and donated the fish. And then he was like, wait, do you guys take tanks? And I wasn't right there at the time, but the other guy I work with was just like, oh, well, what size is it? And he was all, oh, it's just a little 10 gallon. And um, he was like, oh, well, we really don't need it here at the store. But he's all, and he was like, hey, do you want to, you know, you want a tank? And I was like, sure, of course, I'll take a tank. So I, I, you know, and the guy was like, all right, I'll be right back. And he comes back like not even 10 minutes later with like a brand new 10 gallon tank of lights, had the substrate in it still, had a plant, I had two live plants still in it with no water. And the coolest part about it is it has, hold on. Hold on. A brand new Aqua Clear, clear on it. Or a Fluville, yeah. Is that a 20 or a, a. Yeah, brand new brand new 20. Nice. Nothing, nothing crazy, but you know, that right there is a score alone. In, in my book. You know, in my book, just that, just that little guy. Yeah, but that's 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 the way I save money. I take a lot of uh, freebies and do projects, and I like to resale tanks myself. Sorry, guys. I keep writing stuff down. I keep thinking of stuff here and there. Yeah, uh, Sigla's fan sounds like about twelve dollars in silicone, and you're good. Uh, you know, honestly, probably not even that. Because the two, uh, the beyond, the, well, the two that are on the ground, that they're 15 gallon, because they're the custom size ones for the fish tanks, and one I'm going to use for a lizard, and the other. But the cool thing is that when I get to take the lizard out of that tank, that's a 10 gallon fish tank. Uh, I'm going to end up with like a whole bunch more 10 gallon tanks that I'm going to set up guppies for. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> two tubs. Two tubes, yeah, that's true. But out here, I could get two tubes for like less than ten bucks. I'll see if he comes out a little later, Bob. He's in his uh, warm oh. uh, hide right now. I think he's getting yeah, ready to shed. What? What's wrong? Hold on, I'll be right back. On Google, keep myself. Sorry, man. I go old school. Two tubes to be safe. Oh, all right, guys. So I'll go over a few things that I like. Um, Jay already said that he runs his whole fish room on air. I'll go a little bit above that and say a central air system. Um, for a while, when I had the bulk of my tanks, other than I believe two or three I had in my living room, um, I had a bunch of them in my fish room, and I had my central air system going. Um, I know Bob remembers that. Bob really liked that. Um, dang, I keep saying I'm a lot. Oh, stress. 
So yeah, central air systems, and I haven't tried them yet, but I think I'd rather try box filters over sponge filters. Although, yeah. And another thing I like, uh, you know what, I'll wait for Big J to come back for that one. But if you have a bunch of tanks, and I do mean, well, not even a bunch, but multiple tanks, you got to have enough to make it worth um, sure. buying a full sheet of polycarbonate. That's the greenhouse siding. Um, I really like the greenhouse siding for uh, tank lids. Um, I actually like them better than glass lids, and I haven't done it yet, but I do plan on cutting little, uh, not full-on holes, but something to where like I can make tabs and open it to feed the fish rather than having to open up the whole lid. And now that you're back, one of the things that I like to do to save money is utilize the dollar per gallon sale at Petco. And I would encourage people to actually check with your uh, LFSs as well. Um, I have one that sells 10 gallon tanks for eight bucks. So that would beat out the dollar per gallon sale. Yeah. And then uh, Dave Aquarium Thoughts, you could verify this, but I leave believe there was a place down in San Diego that was selling 60 gallon tanks for $60 with glass lids. Oh, nice. So there are deals to be sought out for brand new tanks other than the dollar per gallon sale. <laughs> Aquaballs wants to know where's that 10, that 10 gallons for $8. Oh, bro, it's a secret. I can't tell you that. And then, um, uh, it's the, uh, office, or, or, Aquarium Fish Depot, yes. Cool. Got yeah. my 60 gallon from there. And Alcabal says he would love him some 10 gallon tanks. You were given a bunch of greenhouse sheets, fishy fun, and hello, need, how are I you? Need four, I need four more 10 gallon tanks. You need four more tens? I need four more tens to, so I can build my rack. Nice. And then yeah, I just got to then go get some wood. No, it's a LFS. Uh, so, George, it's uh, the one in Downey on Florence, uh, Pet Town. Ten-gallon tanks for $8. Is it just a tank, though? Is it a lid or anything? No, nope, just a tank. Just a tank? Yeah, it's not an Aquion tank, though. That's but, cool. Aquaballs is here. I hope he stays here for a while because I got some something new to show. Some, some A new friend of mine. And Aquaballs will like it. You, you'll like it. You'll, you'll, you'll like her, too. Yes, Recon, I run tanks and heaters. Tanks and heaters? Um, heaters and tanks. You use heaters, Anthony and Big J. Uh, I only run heaters during the uh, during the winter time, though. And then, except for my saltwater tank. Other than that, I don't run heaters during the summertime. But that's because I'm here in lovely Southern California, where it gets um hot like not today today was actually kind of nice but yesterday was 100 degrees and tomorrow's supposed to be nice and a couple days is supposed to be nice then it's it was supposed to be back up in the hundreds hey grb how's it going Alcaball says I will stay. I'm barbecuing now. Yeah, I got a new, uh, a new late. I should say a new lady friend to show you. Hey, GRB Natural, how's it going? I found a new vape that I like. One of those little pin things. 
I know it's not the same, but I've been liking them. The flavors are good on this one, one brand. All right, man. So I do want to go over some like different media to save some money. Um, one of the things I like is I used to like the polyfill, the loose, you know, the more loose fibers that's used for like pillows when I used uh, canister filters. But now that I'm into sumps, I do like the the roll more, you know, the flat no. um, batting. Yeah, that's what I used at first. But now you use the sheet, the one that comes in the roll, kind of roll or folded roll? Yep. And with that, I like it because I use it for the sumps. Um, and I also use it for my hang-on backs. All my hang-on backs I'm running right now. Nice. Somebody Our, asked uh, me, I didn't want to interrupt you. No worries. Um. One of the uh, are uh, most of the hang on backs I run are the Marine Land penguins, I believe. The penguins, yep, the old ones, you know, yep. I know I, ha um, I have a pair of those, so they have the cartridge slid in, um, you know, vertical. So all I do is I cut the sheets and I wrap it around there and I put it in. That's why this tank is actually cloudy right now because I did that today. Um, pretty much just before the stream. Yes, yeah, Sandy, the quilt batting. I like this stuff personally. Better than um, all. This thick, real coarse stuff. Yeah, so one of the things I wanted to try, actually, to save a little more money, something that would be able to be reused, and what gave me the idea was uh, filter socks. Um... People reuse the filter socks, and the filter socks that are reused are made out of, uh, um, like, a felt. Yeah. So I thought about going out and buying some um, white felt and using that instead. Um, because then, you know, I can cut all the pieces out and just wash them all at once. You can also get a big roll of the pinkish fiber floss on Amazon for about fifteen dollars. Nice. Nice. And then, uh, so that's what I like for the mechanical filtration. And then, as far as the biological filtration, I really like lava rock. Um, and one of the things I wanted to try other than lava rock was actually pumice stone, but I just couldn't seem to find it in my area. And then about a month ago or so, Ben Ochart was talking about he found it at a gardening center. And I never tried a gardening center other than Home Depot. Darn. Um, but the other thing I uh, would want to try is actually the black lava rock. The black lava rock, it seems to have a lot more voided spaces in it. It's a lot more light. Um, yeah. I got that one stuff in my saltwater tank. I forgot what it's called. The uh, Seacom product or... No, it's like that marine. Uh, oh, you have that marine pier, right? Is that what it's called? I don't know what it's called. It's those cubes for the saltwater tank for the biomedia. The same stuff that the uh, Joey from King of DYI uses. Those little balls. The biomedia balls. Yeah. I've been using those. I don't think it ball. does float, GRB. I like those things for the salt water tank. Ever since I put them in the salt tank, that's been running very nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. You have any other ideas of uh, any sort of biomedia or anything like that? Because really, anything can be used as biomedia 
or for the most part, I mean, as long as it's not going to leach anything into the tank and you can have enough of it in whatever you're using to yeah. hold enough uh, filtration or to hold enough uh, biological filtration in it. Um, Corey did something not too long ago where there was a store, I believe, that was using a bunch of old socks. Bob says he has a good idea above. <laughs> he has a good idea above. Uh, FF57. Cut up a shirt. <laughs> the rayon shirt. <laughs> That's funny. People use those plastic. Scrubbies. Yeah, plastic scrubbies. Yeah. Just install the float valve P. My overhead, I have a lot of rock. Yes, but I yeah I like a lot of different sponges. Yeah. That's, my, that's like my favorite thing to use, I guess. If you want to say anything as a sponge. And I mean, ultimately, as far as uh, substrate goes, going with a glass bottom would be cheapest. But what's your favorite form of I substrate? Like, uh, I. You mainly use, I go the cheap route, which I go to Home Depot and either get the small little peat gravel or I get the um, the, the play sand. Even though they're both dirty as heck, but I just clean it and it works well for me. That's what I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 tanks in here with those one or the other or a mixture of both out here in just the fish room. I found when I was cleaning the pea gravel when I was using that a lot and I was cleaning a ton of it because I was getting tanks like crazy. Um, I drilled a bunch of small holes in a five gallon bucket and then I would pour a little bit at a time and at first I was just using a hose but then I used a pressure washer. There you then go. I could clean a full 50 pound bag in like 10 minutes. Yeah. But with the hose, it still took like 20. Yeah. It's which not isn't bad. bad. No, I do it all the time. <coughs> yeah. Soggy Pits even says peat gravel works great. Yeah. I like peat gravel. I have that even in the tank in the house. I have, well, I actually, it's a mixture of pea gravel and play sand in the, in that in the gubby tank in the house as well and then in the planted tank that's on the front porch that's all play sand that and then it's got um that that's like i think it's like three bags of play sand to tell you the truth it's a thick set of straights like that and it's got a whole bunch of the uh the tabs in it and stuff but yeah no. that was my cheap way to do a really a really well substrate Bought some really cheap bags of sand, and then just bought a couple bags, of, a couple packs of the um, root tabs, and and now I got that tank on my front porch. It's growing very well, very well. Now, right, Recon, thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate you hanging out. Oh, you out here, Recon? All right, have a good one. My rack of tins have peat gravel. That's what Soggy Pit said. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, uh, so uh, at first I was looking for something smaller than the pea gravel because I do like, if I'm going with gravel, for it to be a little smaller than that. Like, yeah. I really like the size of the aquarium gravel. And after I converted all of my tanks to pool filter sand, I finally found the gravel I would have liked to use at a <laughs> landscape store. So that kind of leads into the next one, landscape supply stores to save money. 
on rocks especially. Um, if you guys saw my living room saltwater tank when I first set it up with all the rocks in there, that was around 80 pounds of rocks or so for like 22 bucks or something like that. Um, um, but when I found that landscape supply store, they did have a bunch of um, tiny pebbles about that big that I think I would really like to use instead of the play sand everywhere or the pool filter sand. Yeah, like uh, GRB has a good one to save some money. You see what he wrote? That is a good one. Yep. <laughs> Dang, I'm tired. And this Eco Complete, the cheapest I found was about a dollar a pound. And instead of that, I prefer to go with organic soil capped with some pool filter sand. Yeah, I've done a little bit of both. The uh, only reason why I did that tank the, the way up there is because I wanted a really deep sand bit. I was going for a certain look that's why i did it that way it was cheap in effect and it works so uh, and then you guys can watch my videos and watch that you will yeah see that that tank grow the plants are about to come out the top it's awesome on a couple of them this landscape supply store three quarter ton of rocks bro how many trips did you have to make three quarter ton that's 1500 pounds well, he probably filled up the back of his truck. Or had somebody. What's up, Redfish Bluefish? Hey, Chewy. Hey, Jason. What's up, Chewy? <sighs> Dang it. Yeah, Chewy, unfortunately, over here, it seems like everything is protected land of some sort, um, whether it's a national or state park and you can't collect from it. Um, that's why I'm eager to go visit oh. Big J because it's not so bad over there. That's that, that right there. You just brought up a good one. That's another one way I save money. I go collecting at the river right by my house. I just posted a video about that and some plants I got. Oh, fishy fun. Um, most of my tops are uh, from that greenhouse siding, and I actually had a piece on this hex when it was in my living room. Um, the uh, piece in front broke, the front glass, and it was like that. <laughs> shape that's kind of like that you know going flat across here um so i cut out a piece of the greenhouse siding to go on that too and it worked out very well so yeah man making our way through this list um now although sumps are not the cheapest option as far as filtration goes if you would really like to do a sump and do not want to uh, go crazy with it, I prefer to use totes over uh, glass aquariums. And uh, stands. Oh man, guys, you could save a whole lot of money if you either build your own stand or if you like the rack system, you could you know, go and buy one of those racks from Home Depot or Lowe's. Yep. But um, I personally like uh, stands, so I built all my old own stands. It's it's only cost like what like a few bucks to build a stand. Yep. Depending how overboard you like to go. Well, yeah. I mean, you could. I mean, if you, yes. 
it depends on how you want to build it but i mean it, if we're going if we're talking cheap you could do it cheap and it will still be very sturdy yes dave cinder blocks and wood you could do yep and um one of the things i did want to talk about i really do like using seachem safe um i was doing just a little bit of research before the stream because i've heard of the fritz accr the ammonia chlorine and chloramine remover i believe it stands for and it seems like a lot of people are going toward fritz but this was just off of Amazon. Um, the Seachem Safe is 12 bucks for 8.8 .8 ounces. The Fritz ACCR was $19 for one and a quarter pounds. But the Fritz ACCR for the one and a quarter pound tub only dechlorinates 4,700 gallons. That's 4,700 gallons of water. The other one does way more. 60,000 gallons. So for 12 bucks, you could dechlorinate up to 60,000 gallons of water versus $19, just 4,700 gallons of water. Yep. But I think the Fritz ACCR would still save you money over either Prime or the Fritz Complete. Well, that would depend on the size you of uh, yeah, because I think do. you got soggy pits. The eight point eight ounces treats sixty thousand gallons. I'm pretty sure I wrote it down correctly because I have the 8.8 .8 ounce one over there somewhere. Yeah, I yeah. could be wrong. I'm pretty tired. Everyone probably froze and started Googling it. No, I'm playing. All right, all right. I'll get up. No, I'm too lazy. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the things I like. Yeah, Bob, I get that. I think a lot of it has to do with the way I do my water changes in why I use safe. Um, I fill up the 100 gallon tote and that's four of those little teeny tiny scoops that are like that big. Um, so as I'm filling it and it gets about three quarters of the way, I throw all four scoops in there and it, let it finish filling up and turn off the water. Um, and that usually gives it a good mix before I start filling up some tanks. Are you using a filter, Dave, instead? Yep, 8.0, oh, 60K. Thank you. I was getting ready to get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so another way I do not save money just yet, but I am hoping, I am really hoping I can do it. I would really love to put the bulk of my aquariums in my garage and make a wall in there so I have a fish room in there. Hi, Marie. How are you? Um, the only tanks I would really like to have in here is this one right here and the one in my living room. Other than that, I would really like to have them all in one and at which point I'd probably get quite a few more tanks or maybe not tanks, but at least uh, more water volume. <laughs> and I'd rather heat the room. Um, that would be a way of saving money. And somebody that had a very good tip to do so 
was Zenzo from Tozawa Tanks. Um, he doesn't really use heaters in his tanks, and the way he hits his fish room is he uses a dehumidifier, and instead of running that pipe outside, he just lets that hot air circulate back into the fish room, and it keeps it at a good temperature for him. So I thought about giving that a try. It'll uh, dehumidify the fish room and heat it at the same time. Um, I don't think that's too bad. And then in the summertime, I think I'd really like to keep the two windows in that garage open so I get some wind blowing through there. I like so, yeah, man. aquarium thought said. Said Anthony's making a fish room won't work. You'll get more, even more tanks. Ah, uh, dude. I, I think it'll work because then I'll have a place to go retreat. Even when I'm home alone. <laughs> go retreat. Like me? All here, just sitting here all alone in the garage? Yep. With just surrounded by my fish? And then all I need is a recliner that can spin around. Oh, uh, that's too much. I could put a... Put a fish tank there instead. Nah, I'd probably really like a like a gaming chair though, so I can roll around the garage and just like sit there in front of the tanks, staring at them and staring at them. You guys want to see what my fish see? <laughs> Eleven, eleven. Carl units to feed everything. Basement, and I'm running out of room. Yeah. All right, Scott. I feel you. Yeah, that probably end up happening. At that point, I'd probably end up with uh, more tanks in my house again. Forty-four is all. That's the goal, though. Get more tanks. Lol. I just got three more. Three more. That's what I ended up getting. Those three. I got three empty tanks sitting right next to me. Now I got. I think I got like thirty fish tanks. Well, yeah. So feed. Do nah, he's asleep. He ate yesterday. He don't eat today. No basements over here either, Jason. Yeah, I don't have no basement. I'd love to have a basement. That'd be dope. Yeah. Me I'd too. Nice, I would have a nice fish room if I had a basement. Yeah, aquarium thoughts. Hardly no basements in Southern California. Yeah, there's no basements. Oh, and it'd be nice and cool in there. I bet you it would be like a nice temperature in there, you know? It would be nice because it'd be the the ground. It'd be cool. Yeah. I'm going to dig me a basement. <laughs> Instead of digging a pond, I'm going to dig a basement. Really fishy fun. Uh, my back ain't all that great, you know, especially with my line of work. Uh, I might actually look into that now. Uh, and they're usually not a full basement, Dave. It's more like a bunker. <laughs> yeah, like a, like you said, a bunker. 60 like, basement. you know, a very small part is underground. And you're going, or at least I'm going like this to walk under. No, I need one that's like, a, I need a basement that's like at least seven foot tall. Because I'm yep. six foot five, so I don't need to be. Well, if I was going to put a fish room in a basement, I think I'd want it eight to ten feet tall, preferably ten. Yeah. Because thinking about the 
tanks I would like to stack on top of each other and the distance I would like in between them. Eight to ten feet, eight minimum, and that's like pushing. I'd really like ten feet. Yeah. Um, can you think of any other ways that you like to save money? I can think of one big one that I'm saving for the end, and it's my last one. Breeding fish. That's the only other way that we haven't talked about is breeding fish for profit. So, therefore, you save money, especially if you find a local fish store that you could do trade-ins for store credit. There, there's the best way to uh, save some money. I know it's hard to find, but like my local fish store, we trade in for store credit. I think that's where a I, where great I work, way to save money. Where I, where I work, you know, back to the the no, the advertisement of the. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a great way to save money, but not the best way to save money. I like I like Kaler's aquatics way. <laughs> Get waterless fish. All right, let's hear yours then. Let's fish club meetings and auctions, awesome. Raising your own food. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, yeah. You're doing that with your crawfish now, right? Or crayfish, crayfish, crawfish. Yep. Myself, my self cloning crawfish. I say crawfish, crayfish, same thing. Yeah. The little mini lobsters. Or evil shrimp. <laughs> all right, guys. So the best way to save money. As we all know, meds are extremely expensive. So the best way to save money is to keep up with your maintenance and not allow your fish to get sick in the first place. Yeah, that works too. I... If you guys follow my stream, you know I do that every every Monday. Yep. <laughs> Which I will probably be changing my water change days to Thursday when my little one starts school, and I'll probably start a stream then too. Nice. Crawdads, yeah, there you go, there you go, Pam. Yep, crawdads. So uh, I think that's the end of what me and Big J have. Would anybody else like to come on stream to talk about the topic specifically? Oh. Do, 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 do. If you would, let me know. I'll throw the thing out there. Uh, I traded a few fish for a five-gallon bucket of plant. See, there's that, 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 that's a good one right there. Trading fish for plants, that's a really good, uh, yep. Aquarium Thoughts said, I can as well. There is the link if you would like to come on and talk about the topic. Now I got plant. <laughs> Bob said he, he can't see it. He has too much, too much clothes on right now. <laughs> Hello. What's up? Bob said he can't see it. He has too much clothes on right now. Oh, stereo. Oh, there we go. <laughs> echo, 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 echo. We have to close out the uh, YouTube. <laughs> uh, anyways, another, another way to save money is uh, trying to do do-it-yourself stuff when you can. Although I will warn you on that is you have to do a cost analysis benefit on that just to make sure you're not actually going, spending too much money on your uh, uh, do it yourself project that you can actually buy on a different built together project thing. What do you got on the topic, George? Burgers, my friend, burgers. <laughs> no, not burgers. What do you got on the topic? On the filter, right? On saving money. On saving money about what? The fish room? In the hobby. In the hobby. Well, don't buy fish every day. So you don't end up, uh, you know, don't impulse buy fish. That's one to learn. 
because you know if you do that pretty cool you can kill them easily you lose the money and same time you you know save your money don't impulse buy if you want something really good get it ready already for first you, you want to know what kind of fish you want and then guys hey, Uncle Boss. you're playing in the back you don't see me talk come on hey stop. Yeah, look at these monkeys behind me. They're jumping around. You guys can't see them because it's hey, Uncle Balls, you see my new friend? Woo! What you got there, man? What is that? That's my that. Remember that um, the ball python I told you I was getting? Where'd you get it from? My buddy. He rescued it from this guy, and then I adopted it. That looks like a normal to me, but it could be something else. It looks something nice. It looks like a normal. Right there. Yeah. Looks like a normal. <laughs> See an alien yeah. on one of the spots over there. Do you know if the is, is boy or girl? Old girl? Girl? That's what I was told that it's a girl. But she's pretty big. Look. Fire. Yeah, she is. Oh, you missed it. You're well, I, I can tell you if it's a girl or a boy by looking at it, like, uh, you know, ha handling it, not looking at it. Hey, Benny. See, she's yeah, Dave, I do like uh, some DIY projects myself, but like you were saying, yeah. the cost analysis is a big thing. Yeah. Um, I was looking at different things and Honestly, I think you end up spending more money trying to make one of those five-gallon bucket filters with the UV seals and all that than if you just sump the thing, man. <laughs> yeah, I have I've done some self projects that I'm like, oh, it'll be like twenty bucks, and then a hundred dollars later, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. You know, Anthony, uh, I've done the over overhead sump. It did cost me a bunch of money, but it wasn't that much. It, in the long run, in the long run, that it does break down. But it's very simple to go get a piece of part and replace it. You know, it's not like you're gonna go pay three hundred dollar for a new filter. I can just go mm -hmm. replace the pump on it. It's really simple. But some of the like the big sumps that we use in the hobby, the expensive ones, if some happens you can either replace the whole thing you gotta buy the whole 350 dollars sump again or you, you know ruin oh yeah well i'm it, not talking about no uh um you know custom made sump man i'm talking diy sump yeah, all DIY the ones i have <laughs> you've seen the diy sump i have right yeah Little little container. I have a little bio bowl in mm -hmm. one of them, and one, the other one I have clay bowls, and I have a poly filter in there. Every water change, I take the poly, throw it away, and uh, on the other side of the filter, it has lava rocks, sponge filter, more bio bowls. I have also uh, what is it called? Pumice rocks in there in a bag. I I haven't touched it over a year. You don't have to really. You just change, you know, I mostly I take the organic, which is in the poly filter. So that's all it matters to me. I know that it's not going to crush. That sump won't overload either. If it overloads, I will see it. It's right in front of me. Open the top. And then you can grow plants in there. Put a light on top of that sump. In the future, I might do that, you know, whenever all the, everything is good. I did that before with an overhand, overhead sump before. You could, um, George, if you wanted to, to make sure it doesn't overflow. If you were worried about like the polyfill clogging or anything like that, put a. Uh, if the polyfill clogs, the way I have done it, I have a hole on the side. It will overfill. A bypass. To the sump. It's yeah. very simple. I'll show you in a second. Yeah. Here, here's another. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Derek. Here's another way to save money. Before you go to buy stuff, look at actually what stuff you already have. I know a lot of fish keepers end up buying a lot of stuff in the past, and the next thing you know, they just store it somewhere. Always go through the stuff that you have. To I just thought of another one. Summer tubs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> summer summer tubs save money during the summertime. Yep. yep. I mean, I'm I like actually if you like go and replace the fish you moved out, 
from the tanks and you go and replace them with more fish. Uh, what do you got, I Dirk? Really like try getting the uh, like getting more into like outdoor stuff, like getting rocks from outdoors or getting like driftwood. I've, been, I've usually been against it, but now I'm like mm, it might save me some money. You know. Uh, I mean, as long as we're not depleting the earth completely, but I mean, where do you think the landscape supply stores get their stuff from? I mean, that's true. I'm we're sure they bypass the, the middle man. Have access yeah. to it. Not a lot of people would have access to that. Being in Southern California, we really don't have a lot of spaces to actually go do that. Yeah, like like Anthony was saying, definitely uh, landscape, all, yeah. all public area or reservation, or like reserve spaces, or it's just people's land that actually own it already, like businesses and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of uh, open areas for that. Not not in California. California, I bet you, Dave has a lot of places you can go collect this stuff, but. In uh, in uh, Los Angeles, it's like a concrete jungle in here. You guys know what I'm saying, right? All you gotta do is just come over the hill. Over the hill, come this way. Yeah, but all California, I'm sure you can. I've seen uh, Cory Aquarium Co-op collected lava rocks right in uh, California in Nevada Desert. I don't know if that's called California, but but Nevada you Desert. Right to that. That's not 100 mm -hmm. true though, Priscilla. Relocating nature to make something more natural. Hmm. I like that one. Oh, no, that's true. I mean, oh, wow. You guys order a lot of stuff from like Petco.com or like uh, eBay? No. Oh, that was something I missed. Oh, I know I wrote it down. Where did I write it down? Ah, right there. Um, <laughs> that's a good one. Price match, guys. Price match, price match, price match. Mm -hmm. Especially if you run into Pet Smart right. because you need something real quick. Hop on your phone, find it on your phone, and just ask them to price match their online store. They, yeah. um, you save a ton of money that way and that you can't feel story. bad you're you're it's a big box store it's not like you're going to a lfs and asking them to do that okay i did that with my uh, uh my saltwater uh, substrate because online the bag of substrate was like 5.99 in the store it was like 15.99 and i pulled it up and they gave it to me yep I didn't know they would do that. Oh, another thing with Peco, if you um, actually order it to be picked up at store, they actually give you another ten percent off as well. So always look into that. <laughs> what you're gonna get, and you're you're getting it at Peco, then check that. That's true. Yeah, and PetSmart will uh, pr also price match other stores as well. They price match Chewy, um, and then uh, Petco, um, pretty much any other store. Yeah. Do any of them do a uh, price match Amazon? I have had Petco price match or PetSmart price match Amazon. Petco will only price match their own online store. Hmm. I mean, I would suggest going to eBay to find good deals. You can not find good deals on eBay. Either. Oh, there's some others that they own, Bob? I only had luck with them price matching their own online store. What are you saying about uh, eBay, Derek? I'm saying don't go to eBay to find good deals anymore. You barely can. Uh, yeah. E e eBay's past its prime. <laughs> yeah, the big thing is that shipping costs a lot of money when you don't ship in major volumes. So a lot of these stores like Chewy or PetSmart or you know, whatever that's shipping a ton of items a day can get the shipping for a lot cheaper and then turn off for it free. I'm listening over here, you guys. I can't hear. The only thing I really use eBay for is for stuff I can't really find anywhere else. Yeah. 
But um, have you guys ever tried any of those like Ebate websites, like uh, Rukaton? Mm -hmm. What? I uh, like uh, Rukaton. It used to be, uh, and there's also like Honey. Like yeah, eBay, yeah. Where, uh, where basically, I know Honey could run through coupons and they run coupons through it, and if you find coupons or apply it, and also like Rukaton, they'll give you like a certain percentage back on certain websites as well. I mean, I'm pretty good. Thanks about honey. So. You guys see how many burgers I took? Yeah, a lot. You took one for me too, George. Oh yeah, look how many I already finished. Mm. Just a couple. I'm alright. Cool, I'll be over to pick mine up right now. Hey, that's another way to save money. Have other people cook for you and go grab it. <laughs> and right there, double cheeseburger. Mm. Mm, what's that, Dirk? Fried chicken, onions, and french fries. That's good. Oh, what happened to Dirk? Dirk. <laughs> I think he tried to switch the camera and left accidentally. He hit the wrong button. Yep. Sorry, wrong button. Yep. I think how they changed the camera switching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So ridiculous. Yeah, and there's a few things on uh, stream, stream uh, yard. Yeah, they changed it. There's also hey, some for uh, guests, too, where I guess you could password protect it as well now. Scott Becker mm. will take a double, George. I mean, I don't. Oh, the double is mine, guys. Sorry, the last one is a cheese, uh, just real cheese for my baby. Real cheese. I'm gonna make them the best real cheese in the world right now. Watch. See the buns on there. Oh. oh, here's a, here's another thing as well. Uh, now that I'm reading what Priscilla what Priscilla wrote. Another thing to do is before you actually buy, actually check your do check your local uh, fish store as well, because I've actually found some stuff actually cheaper at my OSS than Amazon. I've I've seen some Cordon fish protector on like Amazon. They're selling it for like eighteen dollars. I ha I bought it from a fish store for like twelve. If you have a fish store around you, yeah, that's the hard part. And Mississippi's just a void of fish stores. I did find the Vibra Bites cheaper oh, those at a, one of the LFSs. Um, How much? Than anywhere else. I How forgot what it was it? at the time. Like, I think it was $22. Whatever it was, it was even cheaper than Aquarium Co-op. So I know it was cheap. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just got a big one for $17.99 or $19.99. Nineteen ninety nine on Amazon. Okay, Terry. What oh, hey Here's Terry, how you doing? Yeah, Terry, Terry. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, tick, 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 Do you guys got anything else on the topic, or should I open it up for a hangout? I'm making more, so. I'm sure something will pop up. I mean. <laughs> All right, guys. I am opening it up for a hangout. We got one room for one more slot. Um, mm -hmm. Terry, if you would like to come up, buddy, I'd appreciate it. It'd be nice to have you on my stream. If you can't, don't feel bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 15 minutes could save you 15 percent or more <laughs> yeah, cichlid, uh, cichlids uh, 23 <laughs> yeah, my brother did all the research and found it was less expensive to go with them just the state insurance <laughs> you want to see the new angels how many I haven't showed them yet. I just got them in, acclimated them and everything. 
Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let's put a light on him. I haven't. I don't want him flipping out. Just a second. <laughs> oh yeah. Apparently I actually got... made him for good uh, four hours, five hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no worries, Terry. The link's out there, guys, if any of y'all want to come up. How's it going, Catfish, Terry? I know these streams are pretty late. For some people, they are. I don't know where the other two is. Oh, they're on the other side, underneath the plants. They're hiding. Wait. Like 2 o'clock, almost 2 o'clock in the morning for you, Derek? Hmm? What time is it your time? Almost 2 o'clock? No, it's only a little, little bit after 12.30. Oh, that's right. You're in the mis yeah. Never mind. You're not that far over there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Priscilla sent me a picture. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, come on. Right there. There we go. Her floater pump. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Cool. Shuts off when it gets to a certain height or lower. Lower. Yep. Oh boy. Right there. Uh. Oh. Safety. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on, uh, 57 made a good point. Watch for clearance sales. <laughs> Stock up at good prices. Yeah. You know, I haven't bought medication for my fish room over two years. But I beat my fish all the time, especially the newcomers. What I do is uh, the prazi and the combination dedicated food. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm. I did have an ick. Looked like it was an ick. It was a kind of fun. Hot water and some salt helped it, and they don't anymore. The the several sometimes get it when they're first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> uh, but I kind of like what Scott said here. If you can't save more than 10%, including shipping, you always buy as local. I try to buy at the LFS if I can't save a certain amount. Uh, I mean, if I'm not saving a good amount, it doesn't make sense to give my money to the big box store and especially Amazon. And that goes across the board. I try not to order from Amazon unless I'm saving a ton of money. All right. If I can find something locally, I will often pay more than waiting for shipping. Because my trade-off is, like, you get it right away instead of waiting, like, four or five days for it to come in. I put all my money right back into my work. <laughs> right back to the local fish store. Oh, George dropped off. Oops. So do you yeah. just tell them, like, hey, keep, like, three quarters of my paycheck? <laughs> no, I or, do, or do they just agree to pay you in fish? In fish uh, a little bit of both. I would work for fish and tanks. <laughs> yeah, hey, that, hey, that's funny. Look at you say that. Look at the name of my store. Oh, you can't see it, huh? No. Well, does it work? Can you see it this way? Oh yeah. Fish and tanks. <laughs> Fish and tanks. But yeah. That's the name of the store I work at. If you ever if you're ever in Bakersfield, California, come check us out. Hey Griffin. If I'm Hi, ever in I will. It's a nice store. We have we have a cool fish. Obvious well, yeah. Yeah. Hey bro. You got any plans next weekend? Me? Yeah. 
sitting here with my kids probably. <laughs> so not really. What do you think if I come up next Friday and we can go fishing on Saturday? Oh, yeah, we, we, we can do that. Sorry about that, folks. Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't know if y'all talked about this, but I just thought of something. Like using uh, rainwater to save on water changes. I know some states won't let you do that because they got to tax it. <laughs> yeah, some states don't get a lot of rain to begin with. That's true. It just depends on your area, I guess. Well, the one thing I would be concerned about rainwater is um, how clean it would be. I mean, if you're collecting it off your roof and it hasn't rained in a while, you might get a lot of stuff that you don't want in the water. Yeah. 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 I forgot who brought that up. Someone brought it up uh, more recently, I think, in the past month. I think it was Blake. Mm. <laughs> Blake's I'm not too sure. Hey, Miles, I, know, going? I know Ed was talking about it in the stream because he, with his What's that, outside man? tubs. Yeah, we got Miles up here. What's up, Miles? Hello, Miles. Chilling. Change the escape. And honestly, I guess, I guess that's true. If I was collecting water, I'd probably put it out away from my roof. Hey, Griff, the link is out there, buddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's almost past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, now, Eight, now, seven. now uh, it's like it's, it's laid out where Miles is. He's on the other side of the, the country. It's almost mm -hmm. 2 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Yeah. You got like 15 more minutes till 2 o'clock, huh? Yeah, but he's just mm, waking up. Something like that. He's just waking up. No, he's just getting his night started. Mm -hmm. I'm asleep. I'm not a sleeping guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I want to do anymore. I'm getting old. I want like midday naps every day. Uh, how old are you, Miles? You're young 20s, right? 27. Oh. Mm -hmm. Still young. Yeah, I, wish, I wish I was 27. Still again. young enough. I'm 27. Yeah. It's all right, man. I'll be, I'll be 40 next yeah. year. 40 next year? Yep. That's cool. But no language. So much shrimp in this thing. Hmm. Up with the pen. Yeah, which my tank lights are on right now. But all my fish are asleep right now. Yeah, mm. most of mine are. I'm Damn. just keeping these ones awake like I always do for the stream. I know. I'm about to feed mine and put mine to sleep, and then I'm thinking I'm going to put myself to sleep, too. Nice. My guppies don't look so good. That's yours. It's been like, been like damage report every five seconds. This is a beautiful shrimp. Boom! Oh man, I don't think this stream's gonna go as long as mine usually do tonight. Why? What do you say that for, bro? I'm tired, bro. Yeah, it was mm. work tomorrow, too. Not that yeah. I stopped them. 
Hey, you get a big one of these for me on that. On that. <laughs> yep. Well, you can feel free to jump down at any time, bro. I, oh, I, I know I could. I'm just not done in the fish room. So, like I said, I'm going to feed my fish in a couple seconds. So, cool. I'm happy with my guppies. That's good that you're happy. Them now? Peace. Hey, P. Oh, yeah. we're going now. Hey, I'm filling up my tank. Hey, Priscilla. Hey, Priscilla. See? Hello. Hello. Nice. This tank's weird. It's not sitting straight. Only this one, though. Oh, is it weird? Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, what's going in there again? You're going to do a glowfish breeding project, right? Exactly. All betas. She's going to get rid of everything, and everything's going to be shrimp from now on. You see her new her new logo, right? No. No? You haven't? You haven't? Uh, she isn't it in the chat. Where's where's her last Let's see. She's not out. too far up. There it is right there. Highlight it. See? There might be a shrimp on it. There might be. Might be. Looks like a shrimp on the mountain. So are you going to change your channel name? No. It's going to oh, be okay. called Shrimzilla. Hmm. Yeah, no, seriously. What's up with this one tank? Every other tank is sitting straight. I leveled it out. Just this one tank is weird. I think, mm. I think it's just you. Mm. No, look. It looks that way. Looks Wait, like it's on an angle. How much battery do I got? Nine percent. They probably did a poor silicone job on it. Look at the front. How high it is. Look at the back. Is your, mm. stand, is your stand level? Yeah, but look at the tank that's sitting right next to it. It's perfect. It could be the wood. And under that mm. tank, like a piece of gravel or something. Uh, better not be. I have to train them. Try that. Hear that in the shelf off. Something's off. <sighs> Something is off. That's for sure. Yep. They knew all those tanks were going to use specifically and wanted to mess with you. So they made the front higher on that one. Hey, which trip are you going to get, Priscilla? This is just for Caradino. Fifteen points. Oh, and I got my lights. She's gonna get all the shrimp. She's gonna be the shrimp queen. Nice. Get two string rays, one um twenty four seven, and I get two planet plus. Hmm. Spend way too much money on light. I'm using a. Home Depot wood is always warped, says Scott Packer. Yeah, something's off. Yeah, I really need to learn to stop going to Home Depot for my wood, especially because I have a few lumber shops around. Uh, just leave it and hope for the best, buddy. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, if you're confident nothing's under it, I would. Or if you could look underneath it a little bit, I would try to see how it's sitting, especially that back. The back corners, make sure the corners are sitting on something. Yo, Big J. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. I can just it. Hey, Jesse. This one's there. Nice. 
I'll just drain that one, then to the bottom, and then clear that one. Is all that RO water? Yes. Is it remineralized already? No, because I'm, I'm using active soil. I don't want to let it sit for a few days and see what the yes. There you go. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'll just drain from here to down there. Then I don't lose the water and I can take this tank off and see if there's something underneath it or whatever. Beautiful. Tell him to learn how to handle his alcohol, Benny. <laughs> Who's what? drinking? No, but you know what weird what's weird? Like the tanks are the same level, the same height. If the back would be a little higher, this tank would be higher than the tank right next to it, no? Hope your friend's okay. So man. is the back lower than not the front higher? The the water level in the back is lower than in the front. So then the front is higher than the back. You should yeah. be drinking of the tank. Routine? Yeah, but it's all like the tank right next to it. It's the exact same. Unless, uh, see, yeah. unless Canada has some strange drinking water. Huh. He's he's crazy. Camera shit. playing mind games. Hmm. I'm waiting for a tank to empty. It's like watching paint dry. I did yep. the war in Chile with a just the airline hose. Uh, uh, when I do a 90% on my 125, I get tired of waiting for my pump to make it all go into my toilet. This is the So I'll get all three of my pythons I have and throw them all out the window and have it training with three pipes on via gravity and uh, the pump going. <laughs> I'm going to measure the shelf because I have a feeling I just screwed up. I don't think a notification mm -hmm. went out, uh, Jesse. Uh, yes, I, I, got your, I got your member uh, notification, yes, uh, Jesse. Oh, I would that, see the I video. Server's being wrong. I think Jesse's talking about his uh, members uh, joint membership. Mm, I don't YouTube yeah. paint the membership thing, so you don't need as many uh, subscribers anymore. And Jesse falls under that, so he he, he takes members now. Um, how, how many subscribers do you need for members? I wasn't on YouTube all day, so. I know Jesse's about 4K, so if you're at 4K, then you should be fine. Let me see. How many does Priscilla have? Well, I know uh, Champy, Jesse he Joe. got because he did uh, gaming videos. It doesn't show how many subs I get. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hide it? <laughs> Weapon dirt? Uh, she hides it. Yeah, she does. Uh, I've got Discord now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what the YouTube thing all went through, but I know they did this. The, they did some kind of change with the members, so you don't need as many anymore. Oh, you just need one thousand. One k. Okay, oh, oh, I definitely I'm, need one k now. I'm getting close there. <laughs> I hide it because everybody else is more worried about my subscriber count than I. <laughs> mm -hmm. You you hit a thousand right like several times. Uh, yeah, like five times. Dave, uh, Dave what does that pick? Uh, that is a river by me that I took today. That's a picture I took by my house. Nice. Yes, we do kind of have rivers in Southern California. <laughs> we do? Yeah. Yes. Well, this, one, this one has a lot of work done by the... Um, 
Uh, no, Corps, Army Corps of Engineers. There's like a dam up, up a river from them, so. Where was that at, Dave? Uh, Santa Ana River. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We're next to water. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see how bright this stingray is. I don't know. I don't know if I should create a Discord server for the channel. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down, man. Oh, All right, Miles. Have a good one, bro. Right. Yeah, Miles. Yeah. My phone uh, ate the battery. Yeah, see, I'm not sure how to do it on Streamlabs. I know Streamyard's pretty easy. Streamlabs, you have to. I think you have to like use, like FaceTime or uh, something else and pipe it in there. I have to have OBS for Stream. I think Streamlabs. I'm not sure. With Streamlabs, you have to pipe it in somehow. You have to like uh, initiate the call from someone through like Skype or something and pipe it into uh, the OBS software. Um, I like Discord. Ooh, that's great. I think Discord would be better. I've never gotten Skype to work. Yo. Hi, hello. Jesse. How's it? Hey, Jesse. Hello, hello. Yeah, I, I kind of got it figured out. I was trying to set it up initially on my Mac, but um, a lot of things don't work. So I just installed it on my Windows um, mm -hmm. virtual machine to see if I could get it to work. I'll be right back. I'm going to come up on my computer. Look how bright this is. What kind of lights is that? A stingray. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. So, um, it's a four foot stingray, but it's five feet of paint. So I'm gonna put it up here. Have it hanging a little. Yeah, and then it should light up all the things. Is yep. the shrimp in there yet? No, I just filled it up with water. Oh, I got my green jades from Detroit. I got nice. my moss from Detroit. Look. Oh, the moss, nice. Is that where you're gonna get your shrimp from, Priscilla? No, no, too expensive. Mm. I need to be able to buy wholesale. Mm. I thought his prices were good. Oh, but yeah, that's the, not wholesale. Oh yeah, but there's wholesale. Right? It's a good retail price. Eric, back, Anthony. Hey, Kurt. Thanks. There you go. Thank you, Dave. My bad. What time is it? No problem. I just wanted to get on my computer. Oh, he didn't label anything. Hey, Anthony, are you doing a, a drinking stream tonight? Nah, bro. Um, <laughs> I'm going to stop drinking for a little while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, me but too. Just after, a couple weeks. Me too after this beer. <laughs> Have you ever had adult copies swim vertical and lay on its back? I need to save him, my only good-looking male at salt. Um, yeah, I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound too promising. <laughs> no. like uh, yeah, I, I have. I have seen that. Like, um, especially at promising. night, certain ones will do, like, have this weird twitch. Um, and yeah, I, actually, I don't know what it is, but... Oh man, I wish you were the label of this. Swim bladder thing, maybe? What to the uh, micro size? Hmm? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> could be. Sounds like a swim bladder thing. Guessing. That's going to look good, especially after I put the doors on there. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to I'm going to jump off here. It was fun. I'm tired. I'll go inside. 
you later, Big J. Sounds good. Thanks, bro. Hey, Big J. Find me because there's no fish tank lights on no more. <laughs> it's so dark. You can just see the logo of your shirt. I know you guys can see the logo now. <laughs> All right, face, bro. That, means this, this, that means this one would really show up, huh? <laughs> oh, yes, that does. Yeah, that's his. That's oh, nice. Number. You should just do the now all like you can see is the logo. That's cool. Just kidding. Let's do the stream yeah. like that. Just stand like that for a while. Just stand there. Yeah. Stand there and talk and do the stream like that. Yeah, just the whole stream, just like. So, guys, how's it going today? You just got to talk louder. Yeah, I just got to talk really loud and over my shoulder. Why are you using Michael that way? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but anyways, I'm going to uh, get off here, and I'll, I'll probably be in the chat, but I don't know how much longer, but see you guys later. All right, not bro. Later. 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 See ya. Dang, Jesse, those are some big guppies you have, bro. Uh, yeah, those are pretty crazy, yeah. They're freaking awesome. Mm. You're going to separate them, right? You got to. I haven't you gotta done try. it yet. Yeah, I mean, I probably, I probably will try. You have what, big female guppies? No, they're big male guppies. They're like the wow. size of a large female or even bigger. Really? Huh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'll put them in with some virgin females and I'll, sh I'll show you the size <laughs> difference. They're bigger. It's so weird. It's very weird. Uh, hey, Uncle Balls. Hey, Uncle Balls. Hey, you guys. What's up? I'm back, Hello. everybody. My tattoo is healing. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I need to take a leak. Okay. Hey, Priscilla. Hello. I have some stickers coming, I think, towards you. Uh, sh whenever she sends them. I'm sorry I, you haven't gotten yet. A bunch of people oh, yeah. that uh, in they inst instant message me on Instagram and some of the people that I have their uh, address. I think it's the Redfish, Bluefish. I have his address, too. I'm going to send them a sticker. I made, you know, a bunch of stickers. Nice. Yeah. I and, make uh, a sticker board she, or something. She, she didn't want to just send a sticker. She wanted to send a thank you card, too. So that's why it was taking a little longer. Oh, what, your wife? Well, she helps me. I don't do paperwork, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's your assistant? Yes, she's my assistant. She does a good job. She used to work for bank before. She was a teller at a bank. And before we got married, and then uh, I told her, you can't work anymore because you got to take care of kids, you know. And I made her sit home. Oh. Wow. You put the foot well, down, huh? Well, we both <laughs> stay in home parents now. Not, that's a good thing, actually. Very fun thing, especially with this, you know, virus thing going on. It's really good. Uh, it's kind of we're used to it. We know what we're doing. I don't know. I imagine a lot of people are getting kind of testy. <laughs> Here things are going back to normal. Daycare has opened. I'm still working. I never stopped working. Yeah. Getting back yeah, to normal. my LFS never closed, guys. <laughs> yeah, we never did. We never closed either. I was like, it was funny because people keep calling and asking, like, "Are you guys open?" I'm like, "Yeah." I mean, who you think is gonna feed the fish? You know. Exactly. Like, ah. I'm like, oh, I just want to make sure you guys are open. I'm like, "Yeah, we're here." Otherwise, yeah, we would have picked up the phone. Mayor of my town hasn't bothered to open up the town yet. Mm. Everybody in town doesn't like it. Well, of course. But... See, Aqua Boss, this is all the moss I got from Detroit Shrimp and Aquatics. Though it might what kind of moss are those? No. It's three different no. types of moss, and he doesn't know the name of it. Let me no. take it out. I need to get a container. We have to zoom in on uh, Purcella, guys. She's going to show the moss. Uh, Anthony's, Anthony's away from the PC right now. Oh, he's there. He's there. He's back. Back. What's up, guys? Not too much. Purcella wants to show the moss she got. She wants to show the moss. I need that. There we go. That looks like Java right there. It's not. It's like really thick and stringy. But you know, in, in different uh, tanks grow a different way. Yeah, but this, one, get... this one's weird. 
Don't get confused. They're, they go uh, even my uh, Christmas mask that I have. I have taken it from different tanks. In different tanks in the different water, it grows different. Oh wow! Whoa! It looks like, it looks like a willow moss, but uh, Wait. grown differently. Am I on the internet? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, that's not gonna be grass. There we go. We're good. No, that's moss. It looks like a either a willow moss. Which is the same as the Christmas moss, right? It's it's really stringy. It's really thick. It's yeah, really that means it's growing really good. That's so awesome. Whoever grew it. That looks like Christmas. I don't know. I could be wrong. It's not Java moss because he says he has Java moss. And the Java moss he has is different. But he doesn't know what this is. Wow. That's Wait, only one hour p.m. That's not bad. He sent me two bags of it. <sighs> Where'd you get it from? From Detroit. Okay, I see now. You see, he's growing it differently. But look how thick this is. It's like yarn. Yes, he's growing it awesome. That's like the best quality moss you'll ever get, guys. See? That's amazing. I know how it's looking, but if you put that moss in a different water than he has, it's going to grow differently. Wait, let me show you better. I think he's blowing them in clumps, right? But he just let it go in his turn. Yeah, that's why it's like that. But look how thick it is. If you have to tie it and keep clipping. Tie it, you know, keep clipping until it grows the way you want it. If you don't trim it nice, it won't grow really good. It's like wire. Very nice. Very nice moss. That won't die that easy. It's like... See, I like it. <laughs> Look what I'm using. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I would leave it the way he has grown it. And I like to grow it the way he has grown it. That's nice. Yeah, he just threw it in his tanks and let it do its thing. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. He's throwing them in the shrimp tank, right? I noticed that my moss is growing really nice like that in the shrimp tank because I'm using There it goes up fantastic. This one's different. That looks like the mini version of it. No, it's different. I think that's the peacock moss. Sweet yeah, it's all uh, yeah, it looks like it. If you see that piece on the floor, see? Yes, yeah, Christmas moss, right? No, I think it's peacock. Peacock moss. Yeah. How, how is the piece that I send you? Is it growing yet? Yes. Good. Oh, they have helicopters everywhere now. And then this one is different again, I think. Or is it the same? Wow. That looks like a visitant, no? Big Jay says he has moss growing like that in his tub. So beautiful. Oh, oh, I see it. Now I see it. I see it. Yeah, oh, man. I like the way it's growing. Oh, uh, here. See that? Yes. So this is different than this. Yes. I know he sent me three different types of ones. He was looking up. This one had more water in it. This one looks the same as this. We'll put the tanks in a little bit. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, and then this one's like this. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. All I know is nice pieces of moss. You got lucky at those. That's, that's what he, nice. That's what he calls a golf ball size bush. <laughs> You're kidding me? How much was that, by the way? That was like that. I think it was ten dollars a portion. That is yeah. so cheap. That's nice. Score right? Are you kidding me? It was that Christmas moss? I paid Aqua like $30 in pieces, uh, big pieces like that before. Aqua Balls is like, I'm hitting up Detroit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have moss. I don't want any right now. I'm not doing any aquascapes with them. I'm kind of not liking moss, to tell you the truth, because of everywhere in scape, you know, like swim it and stuff. Oh, yeah, Unless yeah. you're doing what you're doing, it works for you. The guppy, they like it. The shrimp love it. But you have to like, grow, make growing for the shrimp. These two are the same, too. Well, I had the Java moss, and I hated it because we clogged up in my siphon. <laughs> so, like, I'm staying away from the moss type. <laughs> That's a lot of moss. I like, the, I like that one moss I send to Priscilla a lot. What is it called? Uh, yes, that's a very nice moss. What Did moss? you know there's like 15 different versions of resident moss? What, nope, no idea. Didn't know that. Yeah, apparently. I know there's one grows outside of the water. Really looks exactly like the same. Lush and green. They sell it at uh, craft sto- uh, craft stores. You no, know, to use it. Uh, it's grown outside. It's visited moss. Looks exact same thing, but green, lush, and, and dry. Not oh wet. Oh my God, look at this. Man. this look, is, that is one beautiful piece. It's not java moss. It's so thick. That's a nice piece. See, where was, where was I doing? One nice piece. You're going to hit nice shrimp with those. <laughs> and then this one. Oh my god. That looks like a. That one I have. It's like peacock moss, isn't it? It's, it's, it's called Christmas moss, willow moss, peacock moss, all the same. Well, there's different variants of it. There is two different on the side. The one you're touching, I've seen that one, and there's a mini varieties of it. There's a, that one, and you know, the mini is less smaller leaves. Yeah, but they're both the so, same here. The mini is not the same as that. Mini is literally more compacted, not as big leaves like that. I think I, the I one just, you just touched, that one is really good to put on top of the trees and make it look like a nice tree. Look at this. That looks the same. It's not. Wow. That could look be at- the mini then. Look at this string. That could be the mini. I'm not sure, but again, that could be the mini. My gosh, these people waiting for the helicopter to go away so they can do fireworks again. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny, guys. You hear it outside? This, no. Somebody's going all out. The finale. Fireworks this time of year. Hey Jesse, did you mean that comment for uh, fishy fun? I mean, the Fourth of July is yeah, a few weeks away. People. This one looks crazy. I love yes, it. I did. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you guys, um, their logos look the same color. I just go based on pictures. <laughs> Yeah, so Detroit is, isn't sure what name the moss is, so he just calls it one, two, and three. <laughs> mm. what you oh, wait, that's my leaky tank, or my hopefully not a leaky tank. <clears throat> yeah, because this one's different. Oh. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, no, this one's different. Like, the branches are much further apart. Is 
That does look different. These stingrays are brighter than I thought they would be. <laughs> yeah, see that? This one's different. Like the the branches are farther apart from each other and not as pointy as this one is. That's why I think this one's like uh, willow moss, that one's peacock moss. I have no clue what this is, but it's not chava moss. Yeah, that one's kind of sloppy looking. But it's super thick. It's like a string. Hmm. I don't know that one either. It does look like yeah, chava moss, but like you can barely break it apart either because it's like wiry. Mm. It's really hard. What's the difference? Between question moss from and fissidins? Fissidins. Yep. I think fissidens is a type of moss. Oh hell no! There's guppy grass in here. No. no. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it works. I mean. Oh my god, and a piece of duckweed, it's over. I gotta start <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, duckweed. <laughs> I hate duckweed with a passion. Like I was duckweed yeah. free for like five years. Oh, and there's another piece of guppy grass. Get out of here. Hmm. Because the guppy grass will take over the moss. But look how pretty this is. Where does it focus? My favorite mm -hmm. moss is that Brazil moss. I think that stuff looks really nice. Hello, Nathan Fishboy. Hey, hey fish boy. I actually forgot to move the shrimp. <sighs> Is that Jesse yawning? It's early day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm tired today. Probably definitely for him. Kids. I don't know. I don't know. Send money. There's duckweed in here too. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. Gotta get that fast before it appropriates. Yep, I see some more things falling. Shrimp are falling. <laughs> what about Baton Rouge? Baton Rouge probably has a good amount. <sighs> Tangerine tigers. Oh, I ha I'm about to change the water on the tangerine tigers, guys. Wait, I think this is... is that better? I have so much of them, too. How many? How much you have? Uh, like 10, I think, in total. Oh, my tank is loaded, like hundreds of them. Which look like, uh, some of them are mixed with the uh, red... With the, What is it called? Red? So they look like... Some of them mixed with the black and white... Tigers and some of them are red and white tigers. Oh, let me go get my macro. Yeah. I got a macro. Uh, it's just like that one, just like that one. I have a bunch of these. That one, the white and black you have in there, that's a tiger mix, right? Yeah, it's a fan black fancy tiger. I have a bunch of those and I have a red coloration of them too. So they look really nice. 
Send me some tangerine change? tigers. You want some tangerine tigers? Yeah. Let me get my colony a little bigger. Let me show you at the tank if you want. Uh, I'm about to do a water change. I'm doing a water change. Boom, 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 Oh, come on. Can't get it. That's 15%, mm -hmm. I think. I only do 15, 10-15% 15 water change on that. How much you do water change on your tank, Priscilla? I don't do water change. How come? Doesn't the nitrate go up? No. You feed them every day or every other day? I don't feed them every day. Wait, I got the wrong camera. Yeah, my wife likes feeding them. They all jump in front of the tank. So I have a bunch of plants in there like you have. Was that a lens attachment for your phone? Yeah, but I'm not yep. sure which camera it's using. Is it this one? Yeah. Yep. We see it. We have like wait. a vent netting, though. Wait, wait. No, it's the wrong camera. I got to change it. Hold on. Camera. Frequency. There, different view. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, oh, that's, that's it. Wait. Yeah, that's better. That's good. Oh, yeah, I can definitely see your ridges in your hand. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, our part's focusing. Oh, yeah, now all the shrimp are gone. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, that's a micro lens? Yeah. Macro. Mm -hmm. Annie, give me one of those nice phones you have. Wait, let me get uh, some Jesse. shrimp food so they come to the front. Jesse, did you order that? has a better phone than me. Yeah, I did. I think it was like 40 bucks only. Pretty cheap. Have you used it yet? Oh, it didn't come in yet. The one I got was 100 bucks. Woo! A lot of money. And the case is $40. Uh, wow. Yeah. Did you figure the um, polarized lens, uh, Jesse, how to adjust it as well? What do you mean adjust it? Here comes the food. Oh, look at all the um, I don't know which one you ordered, but some you got to adjust the strength of the polarization. Huh? No, it, it was just like a filter. So it's a yeah, filter. but did you, did you order the same one I did or a different one? Oh, I don't know. I, did, I, okay. I can't think of... And you need to adjust it. Like, oh, I wonder what yours looks like. How can you adjust oh. it? When you screw it, when it, when it screwed on, you could uh, you could adjust by the strength of polarization. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at the hair oh. If you can, Jesse, send me the link to that. And I'll, 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 oh, okay. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll go look for it. Oh. Hey, DMC. What's up? I haven't seen you in a bit. Uh, DMC is here. I mean, it's trouble. Well, leaping in the water. I'll be right back. I definitely need to get a macro lens. <laughs> Can you see that detail in the overcome? Why is it auto focusing? Stupid. Is that a scratch on your glass? <laughs> or is that just a little <laughs> twig in front of the thing? Ooh, it's a nice little shot. Do you put any uh, nutrients in that water? Any what? Nutrients for your plants? Uh, yes. What are you using? Aqua vitra. Aqua vitra. I, I recently bought something. Uh, I'll show it to you in a minute. 
Let me fill up this water. I'm got a five gallon in my hand over my head. They like this food. Now they're all gonna come and fight over this little piece of food. <laughs> what kind of food is it? It's like a um, metal mix. What is it made out of? I mean, which company? Uh, Mark Shrimp Tanks. Oh, Mark Shrimp Tanks. Oh, he has a food and you got it already? Wow, that's nice. That's my guru right there. Yeah, it's fine. Um, and <laughs> now I got my, my macro lens on. But he's my shrimp guru, I love him. <laughs> macro view of it. I don't know. All my shrimp knowledge come from Mark Shrimp Tank, guys. I tell you that much. I was killing them before. Now I have hundreds of shrimp in my tank. A panda shrimp. You have to be at the right distance in order to get a shark trap. That comes a black crystal shrimp. I have a lot of those. Look at the detail in that hair dress. Oh, let's look at the moss. <laughs> That's the thing. I put my macro on. I'm like, oh, let's look at this. Let's look at that. Let's look at everything. Ooh, that looks nice. Wow. Look at that. Now, that looks like a mini Christmas moss to me. So, and here's the weird one. Nobody knows what it is. We see the big, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Don't move, hold on. Oh, I see this one, I see it. I know what that is. That one likes the wood. It climbs all over the wood. It grows really nice on wood. See? Yeah, it does. Really beautiful, Mars. And here... Like that's the same one. That's, that's the same. Different. That's the bigger one. Yeah, that's the bigger. You know. Mm. No. That looks like Java Mark. I don't know. <laughs> Every when do you dust your water? But this one looks so nice. On the shrimp tank, Priscilla. What? Every when do you dose your water? See that? I... Everything else is blurry. <laughs> <laughs> Still the same shrimp. Still chowing down on that. Are you chowing down on the gravel now? <laughs> no, I think you found a piece of poop. Yeah. <laughs> there comes the snail. What kind of food is that? Oh, here's a crystal shrimp. What are you feeding it, oh. Priscilla? Hand up, please. Nettle mix from uh, Mark Shrimp Tank. Oh. Mm. That's That's a nice one. Says, Let's look at the mantis shrimp. <laughs> yeah. He's, oh, yeah. I wish I could. He's not going to play that game. This one's Taiwan Moss. Mm. Looks like the other moss. I love these panels. Mm. Oh, here's one of the white ones. <laughs> and he's the far away. More of the blue ones. Go closer. 
I wish there was a way to like, bite the glass. Really, literally. Well, you could control uh, the focus. Oh, look at this! Wow. Yeah, that looks like Google Stratum. Oh yeah, it's Stratum. Lupo. I couldn't keep him alive. I had him in my first state. My blue bolts are really hard to eat. Are they hardy or are they hard to kill? No, mine are really hardy. Oh, wow. Uh, well, the ones I got, it didn't last. Do you use our water? Part. I have some crazy uh, ones that a lot of people will love to have, and I'm I'm kind of bred those in my tank. I'm pretty happy about it. The ones that look like blue, dark blue with stripes on the back. That's a galaxy pinto from the bottom. I guess it's galaxy cool. pinto. Mm -hmm. Galaxy pinto. That's right. You use Fluvial Stratum for Oh, here's a tangerine. Yes, yeah, Stratum. Okay. Here's a tangerine tiger. Mm. Seems like only this one shrimp is interested in the food. Is it going to eat that whole thing? Yum, 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 Oh, here. Oh, my phone's gonna die. No, no. Here's Brackbit. Close up. Oh, wow. What's that? That's an interesting plant. Here's a, another panda. Hmm. Gotta go plug my phone back. <laughs> But yeah, that's what ninety nine dollars gets you. <laughs> I think it was. Well, I bought the macro and the uh, right angle lens, and it was like one eighty for both. Yeah. And then you need a special case for your phone so you can mount this because it has these little. Pearls when yeah. it's, yeah. Oh, is that the moment? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. It says on there. Oh, yeah. Moment oh, in Seattle, USA. Yeah, those are good. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> and I always lose it. Because I put it somewhere like this, and then I'm like, where's my lens? Your little camera bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What yeah, like, I probably leave like it or or something, keep all that kind of stuff in it. But they come with little bags. I don't know where mine is, speaking of that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. a bigger bag. <laughs> I have a few of those kind of lenses here and there, but... I could probably use them again now that my phone has a camera in a better position. But, but if you see me post some awesome shrimp pictures on Instagram and stuff, that's what I use. And George, this is the that stuff. I see it. Mark Shrimp. Do you have a website? Yeah, you can order. He ships to the U.S. Okay. It smells so good. I wish you could smell it. <laughs> you, you have allergies. Don't, really... hmm. you have allergies don't smell it. Mm. 
pictures on my screen. Did Detroit send you a sample of the food that he makes? Yes, he did. I don't know where I put it. Yeah. <laughs> I like I this one. Yeah. I'll never try that one. I like it because of the never. size. Never try. It's a powder. Oh, it's small. It's it's not quite a powder. It's kind of it's like a rough powder. But it sinks perfectly. And then, of course. No, I never did check science for one. I don't second. want to be that. I am so scared. Hey, you know I have some of it. I have some of it right here in my hand, but I don't want to feed it. Yeah, I think I have some of that somewhere in my food bin. <laughs> You probably put too I'm much. I'm doing up the oh, and here's the mulberry powder from Detroit. Ooh, mulberry powder. It was so funny. That's the mulberry just... plant and grinded he it down to powder and is that all your feed? Yeah, he just sent me this in the mail and I'm like, is this guy trying to get me deported or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking to him about that stuff. Shrimp lollies. This stuff is good, oh, but it's I wanna try way, those. This I wanna is way over those. it's overpriced. Way overpriced. It looks like incense. Yeah, but it's overpriced. Yeah, it's like Don't give ten bucks for twelve sticks or something. <laughs> Cones. Mechanical. Mm. Yeah, so much stuff. Trusty <laughs> Epsom salt. Uh, salt water. God, ah, too much shrimp. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about this. I have a lot of second bite shrimp. What is it? Oh, I, wow. I, I forgot about it. The floor that's is covered. Weird. Oh, that's nice size. Protein. Protein. Yep. This one's weird. The Moringa Pops, it expands like crazy. Hmm. Oh, that's like yeah. the snowflake stuff. One piece. Let me show you. This is the craziest food ever. If I throw it in my shrimp tank, I'm going to have to take it out again because it will explode. Yeah. Because I already just put some food in there. Just get a little bit. Well, I just have to. Hold on. My battery is at 3%, but I want to show you how this explodes. Miles says it looks like a rat food. You <laughs> took him out <laughs> when Anthony did his, uh, when his, when he did his fish food. Screen. Ooh, I almost hit a shrimp. <laughs> yeah, this is like the snowflake stuff. What happened there? No, no, but wait. Wait yeah. for it. Yeah. Wait, wait. Look, you can see it move. It starts moving. It's like the blob. It's like one of those uh, flaming snakes that you get on 4th of July. Mm. Right? Is that what you're looking at? Yeah. <laughs> it gets like four yeah. times the size. Premier yard right. change. Just decided to freeze. Or... Oh, wait. Macro lens would be better with that. <laughs> macro lens. Uh, <laughs> the macro yeah, that moss looks amazing, right. by the way. Those so, tanks out there. so much to being organized. <laughs> Hmm. I can get it back on there. Okay, now it's nice to update. Ah, uh, stream yards delay again.
Look at it. Oh wow! Look at its fan. Look at fan. It looks so That's weird. Crap. Shrimp are coming for it. Night Chase Crazy Obsessions. See you later, Jay. What's up with the snail? The snail is like living Night in Jay's crazy. <laughs> what snail is that? Ladder snail slash pond snail. Ah. Interesting. Isn't that bad talk? They're bad if you have too many. Why? I don't know. Oh, like look, at, look at that. They're all starting to line up. <laughs> uh, or, your, or your tank will probably just get covered with them. Alright, I gotta plan my battery back. I think I'm at like three <laughs> percent. Uh -huh. And not lose my macro. But anyway, that's the moringa pops that will explode like crazy. Oh no, I turned it off. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> And I had this back for like two years, and I'm not even keeping fish anymore. Does anybody need fish food? I'll take it. Like lots of it. You pay shipping, I'll send it to you. Yeah, sure. Like lots of it. <laughs> Dang, nice. I mean, I could take it to the store. I could be fed pretty quick, but. Nah, yeah. no, I'll pay you for it. Crab cuisine. Just, uh, I'll take the food, but I already have enough. <laughs> well, Northfin sent me this when I used to have it. Oh. Nice. I mean, I'll take the Northfin community. I love, I've been using their cichlid formula. It's doing real well with my fish. I love this stuff. Nobody knows what this is. I love it. Hmm. I've never seen it. i never seen it either. Mysis shrimp. Hmm. So the thing with this food is it's cleaner than any other food. It has less fillers in it. You have to feed less in order to get the hmm. same nutrition. You can feed half the amount of what you could feed from this to get the same amount of nutrition. So your tank will stay much cleaner. Mm -hmm. I love it, but it's not really a popular food yet. Mm. Oh. It has a little bit of fillers in it, but way less. Like yeah, you see, it's got 42% protein. Let's see, what is that brand? PE. See? Energetics. Oops. Piscine Energetics. Sorry, how much? They make three different side palette sizes. Uh, let me see here. How do you spell that again? Just P E pellet. Oh, okay. I see it. P I. Yeah, okay. How much for shipping? Yeah, forty-two percent. I don't know. Ten bucks. Oh. Found it. Let's see here. Let's see, I have you on Facebook. I think. I think so. I think I just added you recently. Hey, where's Messenger? Yeah. Here, frozen Bug food. Flakes. Bug bites. Don't don't buy anything flu. Don't buy any what? Anything fluval. Uh, why? Fluval's the devil. 
Because flu was stripping and flu was the devil. Ah. I ordered flu stratum for the store. I was like eight hundred dollars worth of stratum for the store. Um, two months ago, and it still hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do got you. Just shoot me your PayPal information on Messenger, and I'll get you the ten dollars. Okay. Uh, do I want to buy more food or not? <laughs> Sarah. Well, I'm soon going to have a website with stuff on it. And I will have this stuff on it, too. Oh, cool. Cool. Which one was your favorite one on that? Which one's my favorite one? Yeah. For fish? Definitely this. They make a flake, too. Flake version of this. I'll send you my okay. email. I mean, my address. For shrimp? Any, okay. Anything that is shrimp king. You gotta send the address. And, uh... Yeah, send me your address. I'll let you know where I should be at. Okay. Sending email. Ooh, 20 27% humidity. That's actually high. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's slower than my house. That's high from Colorado. Usually it's around 15 to 20. Well, I'm in Southern California, so. <laughs> yeah. And here, George, is he still here? No. He left? He's, um, I don't know if he fell off or what. That's the only thing that I use. He's for that's it. And I usually just use these two. Oh, he probably jumped down to go eat dinner. Okay. Now do you already ate dinner? I don't know. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll send you that big bag because, like I said, the only fish I got left is some betas that eat whatever anyway. And a puffer fish that will... Look at me funny if I try to feed him pellet. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got. I haven't tried the community flake, but are the community pellets? But I'm assuming they're not two different and kinds I, of cichlid stuff. I don't think this guy will eat the pellets either. <laughs> He's just like, "What's up, man?" He always looks funny. He looks like he's gonna shit. Oh wow! What type of lizard is that? Leopard gecko. Ah. Oh, he's kitty, so cute. No kitty. He reacts to my thing. I'm just curious now. Ooh, should we look at him with the macro lens? <laughs> Let's do it. Like, oh. I mean, that's pretty close up already. Uh, is he looking at the camera? Yep. He's like staring right into the camera. He sees his reflection, I bet. Mm -hmm. Look at his eyes. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're standing in your water. Get out of there. I don't know. For some reason on Facebook, your profile picture is black for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I changed it a while ago. Okay. Hmm. I forgot to change it back. I was only supposed to change it for a day or something. Mm-hmm. Mm. He has some crazy eyes. I wonder how much he sees. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm biting the bullet. Buying some more fish food. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did you look at the reviews? No. I'll take your word for it. I don't know. I don't, I don't go on reviews half the time. Yeah, no. With the pee stuff, it doesn't matter if it's the fresh water or the salt water. You literally feed less and your fish still get enough protein content. Which means your tanks are going to stay oh, yeah. clean. I mean, half the time the people writing reviews don't even know what they're talking about. That's why you got to really read and dig into them and just come yeah. over with like an overall consensus of what you think it is. You got to you gotta dig through and pick out the good ones. Well, the best thing is to just try it yourself over a certain period of time and then see if your fish dig it. Because, I mean, as people that swear by just buck bites, they feed their fish just buck bites because they think it's the best thing ever. And then I have people that come in sometimes to say their fish didn't even look at it. Huh. I've heard I've heard good things about it. I know with my bug bites, uh, my African butterfly fish, and those are some picky eaters. They went right to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then some fish won't bother with it. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like uh, hit or miss sometimes with food. That's with any kind of food, though, really. Mm-hmm. I just like PE, too, because of the way they function, like the way they work, because they collect their mice on their own. They do everything on their own from, like, collecting the mice, freezing it, processing it, distributing it. Miles says that's an ordinary leopard gecko. (laughs) Aquarium cop says to macro his eye. Macro his eye? Well, let's see if he lets me macro his eye. (laughs) He has to be somewhat close to the glass. Well, it's kind of close. Almost close enough. Oh, oh there he is. right there. Ooh. Don't move. Where are you going? <laughs> I, knew di- I knew dinosaurs oh. were related to dinosaurs. Oh, there you oh, go. Right That's, there. That's nice. Right there. That's a nice shot right there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Anthony, you, mean, you need to make that a the thumbnail for the stream. And you can see like the layers in its eye. Yeah. Look at his, look at his nostrils. That's an awesome shot. Oh, come on. Now you're too far away. Come closer. Oh, bang. He got really close to that. Patterns. Miles was talking about the patterns. He has a very unique, unique pattern. He has a pretty cool pattern. Look at his nose. Uh, I don't. I don't keep leopard geckos. He's hungry. Uh, and the gla- Ooh, there. Sorry. Don't move. Stop moving. Hey. Little guy. He doesn't. Co- he he wants. He wants not not move. That's too far away. Come closer. Come back over here. Should probably clean the glass. That would help. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I need to clean up my aquarium filter. Clean? Why would you start cleaning now? Probably not now, but I need to do it at least tomorrow. There we go. Oh, that was cool. Okay, where is it now? Found. Yeah, I've been looking for jobs in that area right now. The mouth of the gecko looks funny. a little close there. <laughs> Somebody told me he's like a tangerine eclipse or something. 
-hmm. whatever that means in the reptile world. <laughs> whatever he is, he's a beautiful specimen. I like him. He's cool. He's kind of forgiving. I'm always worried I don't feed him enough, but he's still chubby compared to the other peppers I rescue. And that oh one's yours, God. right, Priscilla? Not the. Didn't you have like two of them that you wanted to get rid of them? Yeah, so this one's mine. The one you got. Yeah. Look at his belly. Look at his little legs. Hmm. So he's just chunky. Like, he's not too skinny or anything like that. He's super alert. Super active. And then down here, she comes out. Yeah, you got a female. Yeah, but no, my gecko is always like, he's always like all about ready to rumble, ready to go, ready for an adventure. But then the ones I rescued, mm. well, oh, she's about to shut. Mm. I mean, they put weight on now. They are kind of cute. I will say that. Oh, yeah. She's about to shed. She's super pale. Yeah. But she's much skinnier. Hmm. Almost, almost makes me want to get one. <laughs> then that's all another mess. <sighs> They're super easy to keep. Mm. What do they require? Um, just a heat map. Mm. And water. Every time they eat, they need to be on a heat mat so they can digest. Mm. But they don't need UVB light and all that stuff. Do they need like a heat mat all the time or just yeah, I mean, I got the heat mats right under the thing here. So, okay. he can go to the heat mat if he wants to, or he can go into the cave. And this is a 20 long, and he has plenty of space. See? Mm -hmm. nice. They yep. usually pick out one spot. Because he's getting food right there. <laughs> he's always what hungry. Do what do you feed him? Uh, worms or crickets. Uh, okay. Or roaches. Maybe a roaches. But like, he's an adult one. And I feed him like twice a week. Hmm. Only twice a week? Yeah. Yeah, look how chunky his legs are. Wow. I sure to feed more often. <laughs> no, he's a male. So I feed him twice a week. And after you feed them, they just lay it, lay it on the heat mat for like 20 hours. Hmm. Kind of want one now. Like, I think we all want one now. I'm not sure where I put the worms. Sucks put the meal worms in the fridge. And I mean, you can make it nicer and have some like grass or whatever, but you can also do just paper towels because it makes life easier. Mm -hmm. They don't really care that much. You just don't want to do sand. You don't want them to swallow the sand. They don't like sand? Or is it bad for them? Yeah, like the repti sand or whatever, the calcium sand. Mm. And you just powder the crickets with calcium. Mm. And that's it. Make sure they always got water. Yeah, I have a big chop near me, so I can get crickets easily. 
you think about doing a bioactive setup? Yeah, I thought about it, doing it with him, get our, uh, like, Sumed Vivarium or whatever. The ones that had the door in the front. Mm. What, are you eating June bugs? I lost him once. It took me almost a day to find him. Because hmm. I forgot to close the top, and he got out. And he just wandered off. I like they eat June bugs. Oh, these monsters are so good. Yeah. Mm hmm. Ooh, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Is there an echo? It's too fat, damn sleeves are off here. Oh, he wanted to buy some of this moss too. Maybe it's just my headphones. Are y'all getting an echo? I'm not getting an echo. A little bit. Uh, super tiny. Um, yeah, I got a slight one now. Hey, Muppet929. Where did you find him? How high do I have to hang a light in order to get light on all the things? I think Ben was here earlier in the stream. See you later, Jesse. See, I got light over there. Later, Jesse. Right See you later, Jesse. All right. But I'm gonna go too because I still have to work tomorrow. Mm. Okay. See you later, Priscilla. Right. Thanks for sharing your thanks. Back of a shot. Oh. Yeah. Speaking of. Yeah. Oh, you have time to work on my uh, logo now that you're done with yours, right? I'm not. I'm not done with anything. Look how this exploded. <laughs> Oh man. God, this is such a mess. I'm gonna not feed this tank for three days now. <laughs> you see the galaxy pinto back there? Escaping mm. rock. Anyway, I'm gonna stop staring at shrimp and go to sleep. All right. Who needs sleep? All right. Later, guys. Uh, well, why is it just me? I don't know why is it just you? to your screen. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. Uh huh. <laughs> so what's it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I'm just chilling outside right now. Rocks. I could probably go chill outside. It's probably cooler outside than it is in my house right now. Oh, I'm sure, bro. It's nice outside right now. I, don't know, I thought you were inside. <laughs> 66. This is the wall. What's my pond? Let's see. Mm -hmm. This one's 74. Yeah. 78 degrees inside my house right now, so. Mm -hmm. 78? 78. Toast. Dang, bro. Yeah, I should open my window. You haven't done that yet? No. Bro, as soon as like the sun stops hitting my front door, I open up my door, and then I have fans going. It airs out my house super quick. There you go. I need to invest in some smart window openers. <laughs> That's what I need to invest in. What I want next for my house is uh, one of those whole house fans. Ah. Uh. 
know exactly what you're talking about. They're far cheaper to run than the AC. That's what I hear. Yeah. Move all the hot air out and bring the cold air in. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, when I had two incomes in the house, I was pumping my AC all the time. <laughs> my ex-wife was always bitching about money. I'm like, shit, what the fuck are you complaining about? We got money, man. <laughs> <laughs> like we weren't loaded or nothing but I mean we were okay to be comfortable okay I think I should have kept my window closed I'm smelling a skunk oh uh, <laughs> that's why I should probably go check my pun temperature. <laughs> yeah, I'll check my other one right now while I'm out here anyway. Uh, I don't know if you guys would be able to see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom. <laughs> I turned on my whole house fan earlier, but it backfired because the skunk was startled nearby, and I realized too late. <laughs> Uh, oh no, who said that? Oh, my my bed, bed. Uh, oh, that sucks, my bit. Let's see how the round tails are doing. I don't know. Did you 73. Have to go? I need to find a better spot for my tubs. Uh, probably lurking. Yeah, me oh, too. Guys. Oh, he it's he way, way, way too hot me. when it gets 100 degrees. Oh, yeah, mine too. Mine are going to get, um, when it's 110, they'll get to 110 where they're at. Hmm. Yeah. And that's where mine went. My pond's okay. My pond only went up to like 80, so. Mm -hmm. Or my fish trough, anyways. All right. Night, Scott Backer. Good. Night, Scott. What? Two, three, four, five. So what do you think is a good shrimp for my fish trough? Mm, any shrimp? <laughs> for your trough? Yes, yeah, my little pond tub thingamajiggy. I don't know anything about shrimp. Oh, Maybe. the thing you got from Tractor Supply. Yeah, that thing. The fish trough. I haven't seen any guppies, but. Well, what's your goal with it? I'd say it's probably a monos, no? That's why that's one of my choices. It's either that or cherries, but I don't know how well the cherries will survive out there. Oh well they could freeze over. Yeah. And some yeah. might die, but I mean it would be fine. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'd do that. I don't know. I'll figure it out once I actually go get, go ahead and go out and get shrimp. Neo Caradinas or Caradina shrimp. Yeah, whatever they sell at my fish store. They just label them cherry shrimp. They just label them cherry shrimp. Just cherry shrimp. All shrimp are now cherry shrimp. <laughs> I can't hear you, Anthony. You're on mute. My bad. I thought cherry shrimp were the red ones, bro. Like the red Neo Caradina cherry shrimp. Yeah, that's what they and are. And then I thought there was the blue Neo Caradina shrimp, not blue cherry uh, shrimp or <laughs> yellow <laughs> cherry shrimp. I thought the cherry shrimp were the red ones because, you know, cherries are red. Yeah, they give me yellow too. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll research into tangerine tigers again, see if they'll survive. But I'll have to look into that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. 
No, Benny, I haven't seen your new guppies yet. No, I haven't seen me either. I'm guessing that's just the video that you just set premiered, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. I was busy over here on the stream watching Priscilla show off her stuff. But I'll check out your uh, I'll check out your video later, uh, Ronan. No, that's where I keep reading his name, Ronan. I just keep calling him Benny. Oh, why is his Benny is aquatic? That's Ronan. That's his name. No, Benny no, was. What happened? Benny, a goldfish, I think. That was a beta fish, wasn't it? Uh, or was it a goldfish? I forget. Meow. Kitty. Oh, yeah, I was going to see if my snake is out. Even though Bob's asleep, probably. There we go. My little girl's a cat person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All little girls are. Mm. Yeah. Since this whole COVID crap, I haven't really gone to my mom's that much, so she hasn't been able to see the cat over there really much. Yeah. I haven't been much of anywhere. No, she's just all, I want a cat. I want a cat. <laughs> oh, get some catfish. There you go. No. No, no. Stop that. Bad kitty. Who knows, man? I might be bringing some home with me whenever I go visit Big J. <laughs> See what I catch. That's right. <laughs> found a bunch of strays there. I'm going to see if I can go next weekend. Get her a little kitty cat. No, I'm good. Catfish. <laughs> you can catch some catch catfish. Got some big, big catfish. Got a red tail. No. Uh... No, he'll have to turn oh, his whole oh, off. You know what, man? Actually, if I could find somebody that was like, yeah, man, I would really love a, a large red tail. I wouldn't mind growing one out for somebody. <laughs> and the various colors of Neo's shrimp are all derived from the cherry shrimp, though selective breeding. Versus uh, through selective breeding. But it would have to have a home before I bought it. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't want a house with just one bedroom. <laughs> because I would like to have people over. But I would like to... For when I get a, t a house that I can build myself... Which I plan to. Hmm. I will build a gigantic fish room that is off to the side. Hmm. A fish house? Yeah. Instead of like a granny house, you'll have a fish house. Mm hmm. It'll be a fish flat. By what? I'd be really happy with the warehouse. <laughs> man, if I could afford that, uh, man, I would have done it a long time ago. Yeah, let's let's set up a fish ham, a, a fish ham warehouse. Oh, we could just go work with Dan's fish. <laughs> I 
Uh, is he hiring? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure you appreciate the help. <laughs> yeah. No. On the last year, you were talking about employees and whatnot, but I don't know if that's just his future plans or whatnot. Probably. Thirty. <laughs> I should just turn my closet into a fish closet. Like a rack of fish. I have a rack of fish tanks in my closet instead of clothes. Mm. I think I'll be able to fit some tanks in my closet. Well, when I had most of my tanks in the room, I was going to stack 275s and 240s in that closet. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me move without losing my camera. Uh, let me fix my camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I can definitely put some... Uh, I think there's enough space in here for a rack, right? <laughs> I don't think my wife would like it very much, though. I mean, cats are good. Just study their personalities very closely, because then you'll know what cat you're getting. Because you have some cats that will want to to death. The other cats, they'll just, like, hate you and just want you for food. That's the problem, man. Will be I don't know how to read cats. Queen. They don't. They don't like the attention, but they do like the attention for food. Or let's. Or they're just very fickle. But they are cute. Cats are cute. You can't deny that. You still have your salt water, right, Priscilla? Mm, I think she does. <laughs> but Are you going to go with some salt water shrimp in there? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, she has to still have her, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the mantis shrimp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. King of shrimp. Yep. Hey, the peacock mantis shrimp is practically a shrimp sized dog. <laughs> or dog si dog sized shrimp. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Man, I would love to get a saltwater tank. Do it. Mm. Too much money right now. I uh, have to stop spending money. I need a good job. I know what you mean. Learn. I'm trying. <laughs> trying to find a job. The experience is holding me back. The last few months I spent more money than I uh, took in. Not well, I, well, see, I save money by not being at work because I'm not spending as much money at work. So now I have money to spend on other things. Yeah, I'm still working. Yeah, Big J's got it made. He can just go buy. He can just buy his fish at his. Hmm. 
Gets to spend his most of his money on fish. needles any crayfish are more entertaining than fish I don't know about that I don't know you got some Good fish man. that can swim pretty cool crayfish just typically lay, just lay on the bottom Reach the point of less is more. If it takes too long to take care of it versus enjoyment, then it gets tricky. Yes, Priscilla. Yeah. <laughs> balance. If it becomes a chore, you're not going to enjoy it. Get a kick out of fish that you don't see often. Hmm, no, no video. So the fish I wish I could keep are the um, iridescent sharks. Hmm. But they just get way, way, way too massive. <laughs> right, just get yourself a big pull pond. It's not big enough. <laughs> I think they can reach like three feet. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I can get, I can get you yeah, an ingram. Have you, have you <laughs> what happened? How big is your uh, living room? Do you have enough room in there? No. Oh, starlight bristle noses are very nice. Let me see here. Let me see if I can find the one I used to have. Let's see here. Do 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 do. Oops. Rainbows are cool. <sighs> God, I gotta get me a job so I can get me a new laptop. Yeah, huh. that's not what I wanted. Go back in time. Fire. How far back, oh. How far back do I have to go? Golden Ooh. Rams. To the dawn of creation. Then you will truly see how man was created. All right, I'm going to end this one at three hours, guys. I got to get some sleep tonight. Gotcha. Okie dokie. Sounds good. There we go. Found it. Gaming laptop. And gaming laptop. Gaming laptop. Oh, paper. <laughs> That's one of the starlights I used to have. Mm. And if you see it on the background there. Mm-hmm. to goodbye. I hear the spots go away when they get older, though. I'm probably going to relax after the stream, watch a few videos, and knock off myself. So, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I have to start editing my next video tomorrow, so. Man, you released your video earlier than crap this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out the best time to release mine, so. Mm -hmm. At least at 7 a.m. Eastern, so. Yeah, I might do mine at, like, maybe go. No, wait, wait, no, no, yeah. Maybe I'll just start doing 7 a.m. Maybe I'll start doing that again. I don't think the 4 a.m.s have been working for me. <laughs> All I know is uh, that's when I my most of my viewers, well, some of my viewers start to come on that time, so that's why I released it that early. Oh, really? Uh, that actually, I, I can actually see it on my analytics now. So, I wish I was in the same boat, Muppet. Mm. Mm. Yeah, three thirty. I'm kind of wanting to go to bed, and I can't. So <laughs> that's that's where I'm at at that time of night. Night B. Night Priscilla. Night Priscilla. Why did I say that? No, we're not. We all said that. <laughs> huh? Oh, wait. I don't know what you're talking about now. I don't know. <laughs> That's, it's 2.30 a.m., so. <laughs> Only 12.30 here. But Y'all lucky. I'm worn out. I have, man, and tomorrow I have a video to edit and probably going to record another, the next video tomorrow as well, so i got a couple things I need to do. Newegg.com, Newegg.com. Trying to get me some, trying to find me a good deal on gaming laptops. Uh, you want a gaming laptop? Yep. Mm -hmm. Which ones are you looking at? Yeah. <laughs> Any I can find cheap. Yeah, probably be HP, Acer, or Asus. Problem is, I want sixteen gigabytes of RAM. And a NVIDIA mm -hmm. card. And that always raises the price. Well, just remember the NVIDIA graphics card. That's You're stuck with that. RAM, you can always upgrade later. As long as the motherboard supports it. So I'll definitely look at maybe look at the lesser RAM ones and see how much the RAM is to actually put in there. And see if maybe you're you get a better deal that way. Hmm. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. How much RAM do I have on my laptop here? Mm -hmm. Oops, wrong button. Oops. I don't want the media player. I have eight, gig eight gigs on this one. But I don't know gaming on it, so. Mm -hmm. The most I ever used this laptop for was uh, video editing. Uh, yeah. It worked. Although my desktop does it better. How much did you say you have? You bought? On my laptop? Yeah. Eight gigs. Nice. But then again, I'm also running Linux, so it's a little bit different than the Windows. Nice. Hmm. Have y'all heard of a 
one called Evoc. E B O C. E B O C. Evoc. Never heard of it. No. Me neither. I've been out of the computer game for a long time, though. Same here. Let's see. E B O C. Hey, revenue. Help center. What? <laughs> Uh, let's change that. Hmm. I'm getting totally like government organizations. Uh, is it EVOC or EBOC? EVOC. Uh, that sucks, fishy fun. Not much, George. About to end it, man. I'm exhausted. Yeah, hey, welcome back, Cox Balls. Yeah, see what reviews That's come up. Bank. Oh, okay. One right behind Anthony, right there. Well, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, JPs I can find it's like seven hundred to a thousand. Yeah, that's why I don't do gaming on PCs anymore. Too expensive. Mm, yeah. I don't do that many PC games, but. The gaming laptops are powerful. Man, it's gonna feel weird not going, not going, having to be going to school next after the summer ends. <laughs> Why they cancel yours? Oh wait, you graduated or you just don't have school this this sem coming yeah, semester? To oh, well. So I am done. Got my scare certificate and everything. Uh, do you know of a better? Uh, do you know of a better eBay that's better, like how eBay used to be? <laughs> nope. I tried looking on eBay, but it must have been more. I uh, know eBay's trash. Now. Well, it is. Before I used 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 to be able to get like pretty good, decent deals on used stuff, and now it's just now it's just yeah. people want too much for it, or it's like it's yeah. gone corporate. Yep. Okay, too many yeah. companies selling their wares on it. It's like no, I don't. I don't want an HP laptop from HP. I want to use the HP from someone else. <laughs> Yeah, if I wanted a new one, I'll just go buy it. Buy one off the Amazon. I wonder what Amazon's gonna do. Probably overprice this shit, but me, eh, who knows? Well, I think uh, I think Amazon's supposed to be having some deals coming up. I forget yeah. when. Let me see here. Amazon. I think I think at the end of June. Well, it is a Prime Day or something. Or? Uh, well, I heard a blurb in the news, something about, uh, oh, here it is. Amazon plans summer sale for June 22nd to jumpstart sales after the blah, blah crunch, which is the uh, things that have been holding everything back. Ooh. So, okay. I want to, to look at I that. I don't know how that, that was from one week ago. I don't know how, I don't know how, uh, legit that is, but I mean, I could see him doing it. Yeah. Maybe. If you're not in a hurry, you're not seeing anything, any good deals right now. You might, you might want to wait before you pull the trigger on something that's full price. <laughs> mm -hmm. June twenty second. Yeah. Okay, that's Monday. That's okay. That's not too bad. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it here. All right. Thanks for coming up, guys. Thanks everyone for coming. Thanks. Have a good night or morning, I should say, for some of you. <laughs> Thanks, Muppet. It's been it's been a few weeks, so. Yeah. Yep. Later. Come up and talk. Thank you. Bye.